we need to find the slope of a function uh, at x equals 1 and the tangent line at this point. Remember, the tangent line requires one point, and we need to compute the slope using the difference quotient. And again, pre whoa, previous video, we looked here. Uh, tangent line is what we're finding now, not the secant line. So we're going to find the tangent line at this point. So let's go ahead and write the difference quotient down. Difference quotient. And I'm going to do this a little bit faster because it's very similar to a problem we just went over. Now, I'm going to rewrite this divided by h as multiplied by the reciprocal 1 over h. And I'm leaving extra space around the plus sign because I need to get common denominator. I need to add these fractions and have the same denominator. They don't have anything in common. So I'm multiplying each fraction by the other's denominator divided by itself. And the reason we can do this because we're multiplying each of them by 1, so nothing changes. So we have x over, and I've made a mistake. I flipped from a minus to a plus. All right, if I kept going, I would get uh, things not to cancel. Now remember, the negative is distributed to both here. So it's minus x minus h. So the x minus x cancels those two right there. And we're left with 1 over h times negative h h times x plus h. And I definitely made another mistake. That should be an x. All right, from here, that h cancels. And we're left with negative 1. That's they don't cancel completely. One of them was negative, so they cancel to a negative one. So now we have simplified away the h in the denominator. That's what we needed to do. And next, we are going to uh, see what happens when h gets very small. So what happens when h approaches 0? And again, I could not think about that before because h here we'd be dividing by 0. That's why you have to get rid of that h. You can't just say, oh, well, it's going to be really tiny here because that makes your fraction uh, undefined. So you have to wait until you cancel it, and then you're allowed to think about when h approaches 0. So from here, when h approaches 0, we have negative 1 over x times x plus 0 which is negative 1. x times x is x squared. All right, now we get to plug in. x naught was 1. Somewhere up here. Let's check this out again. Here's our x value. Before, I labeled it as x naught y naught. So x naught is 1. y naught is f of x naught. So y naught, the function is 1 over x. So it's 1 over 1. That reduces to 1. So our y naught value is 1. So we're plugging in x naught equals 1 here. It's our x value. So our slope is negative 1 over 1 squared. And that reduces to negative 1 over 1, or just negative 1. So now we have our point. x naught y naught is 1, 1. Our slope, m, is negative 1. We're going to use the point slope form. The best one generally for calculus, unless you already had a y-intercept, which you usually will not. So it's y minus y naught equals m x minus x naught. 
I'm going to add the Y naught to the right side. And now plug in values. So we have all the values on the top of the screen there. Negative 1, x minus x naught is 1 plus 1. This is a very good answer for uh, either homeworks or the exam. And if you want to turn it into point slope form, you can distribute here. Negative x plus 1 plus 1 which is negative x plus 2. This is also a correct answer. Either form, uh, completely acceptable. Let's think about this graph. The original function was 1 over x. It looks like this. There's the point 1, 1. We wanted the tangent line through that point. Now if we think in terms of point slope form, our function or our line goes through the point 1, 1 and a slope of negative 1. So really to graph this line, we could have just looked at this information and graphed it. So it goes through the point that's here on the graph, slope of negative 1. So it goes uh, to the right one, down 1, and to the left one, up 1. Connect these together like that. And if you zoom in here, this graph is hand-drawn. It's not going to be perfect, but at this point, these uh, should intersect. Obviously, it looks like they're intersecting up here because my graph's not perfect. And they have the same slope, both negative 1 slope at that point. And that's what a tangent line looks like and how to compute it. And we're going to do a secant line next.